the other two two starts ago. Well, now they're going to call a ball and the Rays are going to claim that Lane had called time. And Cash is out to push Smiley away. Lane has called the balk, and boy, it certainly appeared that he threw his hands up, calling time. And the Rays are trying to keep Smiley out of there. That's why Tom Foley ran out there. Yep. Kevin Cash has taken up with Jerry Lane. Tom Foley went out there to, to get in front of Drew Smiley to keep him in the game. Well, you could certainly see why Smiley stopped when Lane threw up his arms. That's just the natural reaction. When the, when the home plate umpire puts his arms up, that time has been called. And so you, you of course, stop what you're doing. So Kevin Cash out there immediately trying to make that point. And at least he's getting a conversation. Here's another look. You could hear him call time. Because Sally asked for time. Jerry Lane granted time and then called balk. How can you call a balk after you've called time? And they're going to rectify the problem. You could see Jerry Lane saying it was my fault. Now Scott Service wants to have a conversation with him. Dwayne, you gave me a heads up before the game that with Jerry Lane behind the plate, you just never know what to expect. And boy, has that worked Well, itself. that's been the case. And uh, look, he's a great guy. And, uh, and over the time of his career, which started in 89, he's been a good umpire. But he's been involved in so many situations where people do come away scratching their heads. And let's listen again. You can hear it. <laughs> I mean, that's hard to believe that that happened. Calls time and then drops the balk. And I like the raise with the little double team action, too. Cash to Lane, Tom Foley to Drew Smiley. Yeah. As soon as Cash came out, Smiley came down off the mound. And then for a moment, Cash diverted his attention from Lane to Smiley until Foley could get out there. Yeah, that was strange. So back to third goes Nelson Cruz. 